Jadon Sancho, Kai Havertz and Donny van der Beek are the three players who have been linked with Manchester United the most, aside from 16-year-old Jude Bellingham from Birmingham City. And what I'm going to do in this video is speak about all three of them. And what I'm going to do is two things. One, I'm going to rate how important that signing would be out of 10 for Sancho, Havertz and van der Beek. And I'm going to rate it out of 10 in how likely I think that transfer is to happen. A little bit of fun and I'll be very interested to know your ratings in the comments below. But let's get straight into this one. If you haven't subscribed to United People's TV, what are you doing? Come on, hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, hit that notification bell so you get a ping every time a new video comes out. But let's talk about Jadon Sancho first of all. Now we all know how much we've been linked with Jadon Sancho and the reality is that the price is gonna be a minimum of 100 million pounds, even in this post-coronavirus crazy landscape that nobody really has any idea what to expect. But United need Jadon Sancho. And I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 in terms of importance. United have needed a right-wing specialist for a long, long time. And last season, we saw how much Rashford developed into a left-wing specialist. That's going to be his position next year. Martial and Igalo and Greenwood, I think they should be fighting for that, that centre-forward spot. Although Greenwood will probably play on the right sometimes. Dan James will play there sometimes. Jesse Lingard, my matter. It's a who's who of random players who play there who aren't good enough to play there every single week for United. And Jadon Sancho has made that position his own at Borussia Dortmund. Done it at the Bundesliga, left England, was a risk, it paid off. And he is a right-wing specialist who can become a superstar in that position. So for me, in terms of importance and how significant a difference it will make to this United team, I would put Jadon Sancho joining as 9 out of 10. But in terms of the chances of him signing, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I give it a 7 out of 10. And that's for a few reasons. I think we all know that Dortmund will sell for the right price. They are a selling club. They replace players. That's how they develop themselves as a club. And Sancho will leave if United go in with the right offer. What that is, I don't know. But I think it's going to be more than £100 million to lure him away from Dortmund. And I just think United have been pushing more for Sancho than any other player. And that's because it's so important to the team. That's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 in terms of importance. And I think 7 out of 10 for the chances of it happening. I think United really are pushing for Sancho. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But next on the list is Kai Havertz. Now I've put 70 million, which I think is probably undervaluing him because Kai Havertz is getting linked to absolutely everybody. And that will clearly drive up the price for Havertz, who is a wonderful versatile attacking player. And in terms of importance, I'll probably give this a 7 out of 10. Havertz will come into this squad, he can play centre forward, he can play right wing, he can play central attacking midfielder, he can play right midfield. He would add so much quality and depth in pretty much every position that United need it, that I'll put it a 7 out of 10. I'll put Sancho higher in terms of a 9 out of 10 because he's a pure specialist in the exact position we need, but Havertz coming in would be a new centre forward, top quality centre forward, would be a new quality right winger as well, depending on where Solskjaer wanted to play him. I don't think it's even conceivable that we get Havertz and Sancho. It would be one or the other. And out of those two, I would go for Sancho. And given that Havertz is linked with Real Madrid, Barca, every, every single club, Chelsea, they're getting banded about as well. Seems like Roman Abramovich is really backing Frank Lampard this summer. I think Havertz will be 7 out of 10 in terms of importance. But in terms of the likeness of it happening, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. And the reason for that is it's probably quite obvious. There's so many clubs linked with him. It feels like United being linked with Havertz is more for his agent and more for him than for us. Although Havertz could come in and definitely improve our squad in a key number of areas, he's not the specialist we need. And I think we're going we're gonna to go out and make that specialist signing if we can in the exact position we need. Havertz would be more of a luxury. And I would consider it 2 out of 10 because of all these clubs that are linked with him. There's so much interest in Havertz, whereas no one's really sniffing around Jadon Sancho anymore. Maybe that's because United really are leading the way with him. But Real Madrid, Barcelona, Chelsea, they're all linked with Havertz. And I think they'll push harder for him than United will. So that's why I'm giving that a 2 out of 10 chance of happening. And the third name on the list is Donny van der Beek, who I've put down as 50 million. Now that price is because that was apparently the price that Real Madrid had agreed with Ajax for van der Beek before the coronavirus took over the world. So if he is going to leave, it's going to be around that value. And Eben van der Sar, their CEO, has already said he will be leaving this summer. So he will leave. Whether it's to United or not, I don't know. In terms of 
how important I would consider this signing, I'd probably, I'd probably give it a three out of 10. And that's because we've got Bruno Fernandes and we've got Paul Pogba, who are two key specialists in the area that Van der Beek operates. Now, if we're playing football manager, hell yeah, get Van der Beek, get Havertz, get Sancho, get them all in. Look at the strength and depth in our squad. But the reality is that United won't be spending, I don't think, 200 million plus this summer. I think we'll be going for key signings in specialist positions. And that's why Sancho is my number one. And why someone like Van der Beek is only a three because we've got Bruno Fernandes now. Had we not signed Bruno, I think we'd be pushing harder for Van der Beek. He'd probably be further up the specialist and priority list and maybe Jaden Sancho or at least equal. But I think it's probably around about three out of 10 in terms of importance. I think probably a more defensive midfielder would be a bigger priority if we were to make a midfield signing. But what do I think the chances of it happening are? Higher than three out of 10, I'm gonna go for a five out of 10. And it seems like a 50-50 between Real Madrid and Manchester United. If Real Madrid want their man, they'll get him. Van der Beek, is, I think he's already got his eyes set on Madrid. But if they decide to pull out because they don't want to spend any money because of the coronavirus, United have an opportunity there to go in, spend 50 million, which is a reasonable amount for a, an established class midfielder who can play in, in a variety of positions and will come in and simply be better than Jesse Lingard and simply be better than Andreas Pereira. Our squad will be massively improved if Van der Beek comes in, but in terms of the priority list, Three out of 10. He's not as important as Sancho or Havertz. But I love, I'd love to see us sign him. I just don't think we're going to do all three. So in terms of ranking the priorities there, my list is clear. Jaden Sancho, for me, is the most important signing that United can make this summer. And I think probably the biggest chance of it happening, given that we've been sniffing around him for so long and we keep pushing and the links do not go away. And at some point there has to be truth. To that and I think we reached that some time ago. United wants Sancho. Will we get him? I don't know but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. If you're looking at Kai Havertz I think it's a little bit less important. I'd love to sign him but I don't think we're going to sign both of those players together but I don't think it will happen. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. I do not think we'll sign Kai Havertz. It's just there's too many clubs interested. It feels like it's just United's name is getting used to boost up the interest and the price in him. I don't think we'll sign him. And then there's Donny van der Beek who I would consider a far less important signing than Sancho or Havertz, but I do think there's a little bit more chance that we would sign him than Havertz. That's why I'm giving that a five out of 10. But where do you stand on these three signings? Sancho, Havertz, and Van der Beek. Who do you think would be the most important signing? If United were only gonna sign one of them, who would be that player? Let me know in the comments below. And which player do you think we actually have the most chance of signing? And maybe that's the most important question to ask. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all three players. If you like this video, drop a like in the comments. Not in, not in the comments, sorry. Drop a like and then leave a comment. Do both. Anyway, football's back next week. I'll be here next week with a predicted 11 for the Spurs game. Another video of the build-up of the excitement. But in the meantime, let's talk about transfers and let's talk about Sancho, Havertz and Van der Beek. Take it easy.